Welcome to another video everybody and as the title of the video suggests in this video I'm going to run through how to break down and then reassemble your three-piece rod without detackling, without taking all the line out, taking the float off etc etc. Of course there's some feeder rods that are three-piece as well so it would apply equally to them but uh, in this instance I've got my 15 foot Dower Tournament Pro which is fitted with a stick float as you can see. So I say I'm going to run you through this. I do get asked this quite a lot um, as how I managed to do it and make it look relatively effortless. And lots of people I think have trouble with getting tangles and stuff, but a few simple steps. It's, it's quite easy really, to be honest. So the first thing to do is to make sure you've got your anti-reverse on so that the reel can't backwind, can't give any line. I've got the hook just there in the keeper ring at the moment. And what I've done is I've slid the float down so it's within a couple of foot of the hook just so we're only working with this amount of end tackle. What we're gonna do is put the reel, the rod down over there. I'm gonna hook the hook into the leg, not through the eye. I don't like putting hooks through eyes because of the coating on the eye, but I'm gonna put that just through the leg of the bottom ring on the top section. Here's the spigot between the top section and the middle section. So I'm going to put that hook just through that the leg of that bottom ring there. Bottom ring in the top section. At this point you've got a little bit of slack line out unfortunately as you can see. So I'm going to quickly take that up. It's all about keeping the gear tight really. So what we've got now is the float up there attached just to the top section. Now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to break the rod down. Do the bottom, I usually do the bottom section first just because I'm down this end. <laughs> Take that round, fold it in half like that. So we've got the spigot that was in to itself running parallel now. The top of the rod's up there. As you can see, we've got a bit more slack, so just take up the slack again. And then I'll break that joint down very carefully and fold that back on itself that way. Again, a bit more slack. Might be a bit trickier to take that up. Just sort of letting the sections run through themselves. But you want to keep this tight all the time. That's the trick. And there we've got, it's a little bit too tight. So I'm just going to let a little bit of slack off. But there you've got your three sections, not tangled. And all I use to keep it together is some of, the, some of these tip and butt protectors. One on the top, one on the bottom. Just carefully work that up. Being, obviously being careful of the eyes. There we are. And that's one rod packed away. Not tangled, as you can see. So when we come fishing next, this is my, my fishing is all about this. Getting fishing really quickly. I can, I'm already set up, already ready to go. Literally off with the tip and butt protectors. I'll take the top and the middle section in that hand. I'm holding the bottom section in this hand. Flick the anti-reverse on so that the, the reel will give line but it will keep the line under tension. Put the two, the bottom section into the middle section. Again, rod back on the floor. Tip section into middle section. As you can see, we're ready to go. It's got the line just wrapped around the rod once. And there we are. It's as simple as that. Hopefully that will help some of you guys out there who struggle with this. But that is how I set it up. So I hope that's helped. I hope that will help you do it yourself without getting tangled. But uh, I never have any trouble doing it like that. And as you've seen from the videos on the other channel, I use I set keep these rods set up all the time and it just enables me to get fishing so much quicker. Short sessions, maybe two hours. 
you don't want to be messing around for 10 minutes setting up rods. So that's the way I do things. Now, if you're new to the channel, you've not seen my fishing vlog channel, I'll stick a link up there. You can go and have a look at my, uh, my other channel, which is a, uh, a vlog channel of all my fishing sessions. Every single fishing session I uh, undertake is on there. I film everything, absolutely everything. It's a fishing diary and you'll see everything, good and bad, losses, captures, great sessions, blanks, it's all on there. So I hope you find that useful and uh, hopefully it will keep you untangled from now on. All there's left to do, so thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. Tight lines, enjoy your own angling when you get out there. Many thanks to the channel patrons for your wonderful support and I'll see you all again very soon.